We saw earlier how I could use the record quantizer function to correct for any rhythmic inaccuracies in my playing. And incidentally, this is where I set the resolution of the grid. Record, F4, quantize. And here you see the quantize type, grid or shuffle, and the resolution, in this case, 16th notes or semiquavers. I can also set the strength of quantization. I set it to 100%, so it perfectly corrects what I play. OK, well, we can also experiment with edit quantize. This is a quantize function that we can use after the recording process has been carried out. And to do that, we go to F2, edit quantize. OK, well, there are three types of quantize, grid, shuffle, and groove. Let's take a look at grid. So F1, grid, quantize. Once again, we can change the resolution. Let me play back the recording, and I will change the resolution in real time. And you should be able to hear how it changes the sound. So, semi-quaver or 16th note resolution. Triplet quavers or eighth notes. Eighth notes. And so on. So a very dramatic effect just by changing the resolution of the quantize. Now, shuffle quantize is essentially the same as grid, but it will give me a swing feel overlaid. So once again, I'll try changing the rate, in this case, of the shuffle quantize. As I increase the percentage, I get more and more swing feel. Still further. how effective that is. Now, the quantized templates are most effective when used on bass and drums. And in order to target a specific part, we can use this control over here. Once again, the display shows little circles. These correspond to the parts selected for processing. And I can switch them on and off using track select buttons over here. So let's just isolate or target part one for the bass and part 10 for the drums. And now we're going to move to Groove Quantize, which is under F3. Now, the XB80 contains 71 Quantize Groove templates. And these are rather special because they don't only change the timing of the musical data, but also the velocity. So let's have a look at some of the preset Groove templates. Now, if you check your manual out, you will see a listing of all the different types, telling you exactly what they do. But within the machine, we can see the name of the template shown underneath the preset template number. There we go. 16 pushed fusion. Let's try number 11. Slight variation in the timing and velocity. Now you can change the strength of timing change as well as the strength of velocity change down here. Now I tend to leave these on 100% as that is the most effective sound change. OK. Well, suppose we wanted to commit and actually edit the musical material. This is the way we do it. Let's select, for example, preset 0.11. I'm now going to target a particular track or pattern. Now, we haven't looked at pattern recording yet, but we're going to shortly. So if we set it to track, this now targets all of the tracks that have been defined in the track target area down here. So track 1, track 10. The MIDI channel that we want to target, again, all in this case. And once again, we can specify the note range for quantization. Execute will permanently change the quantization. So if you like the sound, you can now commit by executing the quantize edit. Let's do that. Now, if after a while you change your mind, you decide that it's not quite the right feel, no worries, we can undo the edit we just made. Just press the undo button once, and the screen will say, undo Groove Quantize. And after a couple of seconds, that's exactly what's happened. But if you do like the sound, then store it to the disk.